Hey everybody and welcome back to another Fix It Friday episode. Today we are taking a look at an Xbox One X. Uh, I got it on eBay and I believe it's having an E200 or one... And it's having an E-error, which I believe is going to be hard drive related. So uh, let's just take a look at it. Uh, so this is a console. It's a Project Scorpio version. Uh, I believe it's going to be working fine. We'll find out and see. Um, actually, let's just turn on now and see what happens. Uh, so first, uh, sorry, I need to unplug this. Uh, and plug in the HDMI out. Okay, and let's power on and see what happens. So at least you have a chime, which is a good thing. And let's see what happens on the TV. So far, nothing. And everything else seems to sound fine. HDMI out, so we have our HDMI out plugged in. Uh, but I don't seem to be getting anything there ah okay i think we got something going on ah yes so we have let's see if you guys can see error one zero six as you guys see so i believe that's going to be something like hard drive related or os so we're going to try a few things to see if we can get this working. So uh, let's just jump right on into it. So I can already tell on this one the angle is going to be a bit weird. So first thing I'm going to do is plug in my Xbox One controller and see if we can just do some basic resets first. So I'm going to go into troubleshoot and we're going to do reset this Xbox, remove everything and see what happens. The way it's sounding, it's sounding like it's going to be something with the hard drive. Okay, so we're now looking at error 203. Uh, so we're gonna do troubleshoot. Uh, we're gonna go for an offline update. So I'm gonna leave the link down below for everything that you need for an offline update. Basically, you need a flash drive uh, and I believe it's OSU1. You download this zip file, extract the file, they're going to be a folder called system updates. You're going to put that on the root of a flash drive, format it in NTFC, plug it in, and it's going to do basically an offline update. Let's see if that works. So offline system update. Let's see if that one will do anything. So we're getting E101. Hmm. I'm going to try to keep games and apps and see if that does anything. And we're getting E203. 
So we tried everything here. I'm gonna open it up and see uh, what's gonna go on in there. All right, guys. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Never took one of these apart. Uh, but I guess it is the first time for everything. So, uh, let's see what we got. So, on the back, we're gonna have uh, two Torx screws. One here, and one here. So, uh, let's take those out. We need. Eight to ten, so being left handed is gonna make it quite difficult. So Nope. T ten is this one. Second one, I believe, is behind this. And if you do that, you void your warranty. But there's a second one. This one's a lot more complicated than the 1S. Uh, need to remove this screw. Okay, so we are looking for the hard drive, which is probably under. Yep, I'm gonna be under the disk drive. Uh, so good thing about these consoles is everything's labeled. So, disk drive, power, fan, hard drive. Okay, put this to the side. Uh, so this is what we're looking for so what I'm thinking about doing is taking it out <laughs> formatting it and seeing if that's gonna work um, if you guys just need a guide for that I guess I'll leave everything down below but let's give that a shot Remove the hard drive. We gotta take out one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just gonna lift it. This is the whole thing should come out. Yep. And.
Okay, so this is our hard drive. Let's just zoom in on it. So it is a uh, Seagate Mobile HDD, one terabyte. Uh, I believe if you need to replace this entire thing, I'll leave the link to Amazon. It's like 50 bucks for one terabyte, 70 ish for a two. But let's just try removing some stuff and formatting it and seeing if that'll help. So let's do that. We got to remove uh, four screws. One, two, three, four. And there we have it, removed hard drive. All right guys, so I kind of found this guide on Reddit. Uh, so it's a DIY on how to fix E102, 105, 200 when you cannot restore factory default. Um, basically, this thread, I've never done this before. I usually do the other repair, but we'll give this a shot. So if you're on an insider ring and you don't have, that doesn't have OSU available, so online update, so flash drive, um, you can't send console to Microsoft or you have an Xbox One X on Alpha skip ahead um, you can do these steps so let's see I'm gonna leave it down below but I'll just read it out you can disassemble Xbox take out the hard drive plug in the hard drive to PC look in the system update partition and copy everything off the disk delete everything in the other partitions of the disk so user content temp content system update and etc do not format um, if we do want to repartition, we can do that. Put it in the Xbox. We get the error. We store the factory default and see if that works. So let's give that a shot. I'm going to use this uh, USB cable. Plug it in my laptop and do exactly what it says. Alright, so plug this in. It's there. Uh, let's see, plug this in here. Okay, so just actually put this to the side and this one up so copy everything off the system update for whoa copy all of this off it well where did you okay okay just okay so I'm gonna browse this PC local disk system update just gonna copy this. Uh, I'll just put in my documents.
right everybody it seems to be working perfectly fine we're on the dashboard i just wanna uh let's see if it'll read call of duty call of duty 4 uh old xbox game just wanna make sure the blu-ray drives are working should have had an xbox one game but i don't Doesn't seem to work. A lot of my games are like really, really scratched, really bad. So, uh, how about you check? Yeah, I'm gonna assume this all works. Uh, gonna have to put it together to like take out that to try something else. But as we can see, works perfectly fine. So let's put it back together and see what happens.
once again we got the console back together. We're gonna try Call of Duty again. Realize I put it in this way instead of this way. But let's see. I think this is one of the backwards games, so it should work. Maybe. I hear it reading. I think it's having a hard time, but it might just be because the game is like scratch like crazy. Uh, do I have any okay looking games? Uh, yeah, they all look so bad. Uh, let's try Modern Warfare 3. Maybe that'll work. All I need is a notification. I don't know which one of these are backwards. This one? Maybe? Uh, let's see, what did it start? Ah, there we go, yes! So, that one worked. As we can see right there. We're good to go. Alright guys, so there you have it. After a bunch of things that I tried, it did seem like the hard drive wasn't good because I tried putting back in and it doesn't work. Uh, for now we have a 500 gig regular hard drive, so that will work. It does seem like it's a little bit slow, but I'll leave the links for a working 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, and whatever else, all the software. <laughs> Make sure you have the correct OSU, and it looks like we have a perfectly working Xbox One X. If you like what you saw, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, don't. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.